Okay, let's take a quick detailed look on the RVX. Okay, this is a great proxy to understand markets because not only is it the fear index for the Russell 2000 um, small cap index, it's also a good proxy for where the you know where, where the fast money is moving in the market. You know the the so-called high beta volatility, uh, um, high beta volatile money. Uh, the gamblers, for that example. So. Um, the hedge funds generally operate in this space uh, uh, very well because they tend to make money very fast, and um, and so learning how to read the RVX uh, is is uh, is a skill, and um, and that's something that uh, you know you learn in time, but you've spent some time actually studying it. So saying all that, uh, let me uh, let me show you what's going on here. Um, here's the here's the RVX. Okay, it's uh, just face value. I mean, the stocks, you know, obviously this chart is going down, but look what's going on here. What's going on here is is that, uh, and I'm just going to focus on this, not the internals. Um, you got a large falling wedge, okay, this this large one. And what do falling wedges do? They generally are bullish. They break out, break up. Um, and uh, the reason they're called uh, falling wedges like that uh, is, uh, well, read up on it. Go to Investopedia and, and look at it. You know, I really, I'm just explaining it to you in very simple terms. Is because it, the the speed of the decline um, or the deceleration uh, becomes slower. In other words, it's not dropping as fast as it would because on the first part of the move. Uh, the the drops are very fast, and then it starts to flatten out. But that means that uh, it's getting exhausted, uh, and at that point it's going to turn. So here are the scenarios that could very well happen. I've been asked this question a few times today. The RVX can get to what's 1575, okay, and that would mean roughly that we get to 1170 on the Russell 2000 index, as I showed you on the other side, which is very possible, okay. In the meantime, this this falling wedge that you're looking at, and let me get the drawing tool out this particular one okay this one most probably comes down to what's the 16 level and bounces hard and that's that would kind of that would correlate with the quick sharp intraday pullback that we are about to see in the next 24 to 48 hours in my opinion same thing happened here well this was the manipulated one that happened on Friday okay last Friday bang you know they just shot it up then shot it down right so the same type of thing happened um, if you want to look at falling wedges back around the end of July and I believe my video cast did show that where we had a very sharp falling wedge and look what happened it broke up broke up and then basically basically you know we we, we went berserk on the on, on, on at the end of uh, first of August around that time so saying all that in simple terms I believe that you are going to see a intraday pullback or a multi-day maybe one or two day pullback sharp quick uh, off this very large let me get these lines out so people can see it okay this very lo uh, the in the inner inner uh, falling wedge and I believe that you're going to see uh, a spike up to what's a 17 18 level what does that mean to you and me it basically means that you can play the IWM or the RUT puts for a double or a triple if you catch the wave don't hesitate. Stick tight. Play it with a you know small decent amount, and and you and and you follow the RVX like a hawk. You know, put it on your one of your monitors, uh, or at least look at it. Um, best case scenario, we can get to 19. Okay, from 16 here, which would be tremendous. Which would be like a 200 point drop in the Dow. Uh, and I think uh, getting this is the 50. Uh, this is the 50 February retracement right here. You know, I'm a big believer of that. Uh, things 50 uh, normally retrace back 50% of their waterfall decline or their sharp rise. They they give back 50% of it. It generally happens. So I would be looking for this. In the meantime, if it completely breaks down, then we're going to come down to about 15. In which case, the market would be severely overbought, and I would certainly not be looking at any longs whatsoever. I'd be looking for a reset, which simply means a pullback. So that's your RVX for you. Now. Let's take a look at the VIX. I'm going to put the VIX in here. And these things are very important because as a trader, you have to monitor what's happening behind the scenes so you can react, not react. You can you you don't have always have to be reactive. You can, you can be a little bit proactive, which I try to do a lot. 
um, and uh, and and make money. You know, maybe you're early by a day, maybe you're early by a couple of hours. So what? That's where the big money's made. You know, by the time you follow the lemmings, you know the money's already been made. Um, but of course, sometimes the herd is very right, and uh, and uh, and you can follow the herd and make a lot of money too, especially when things just fall apart. All kinds of good stuff. So, um, so here we have the same story. Uh, this was the uh, uh, this was uh, this was the twenty first when we had that quick dip. Um, let's try to see here. This was last Friday, the fifteenth. Um, today we had this. One second, I put it down here. Okay, this was this was today at 10:30, sharp move up, and uh, on on the this was actually at 10:30, uh, 10, 10 o'clock, and this was at 10:30 today, um, and the VIX completely gave in, and look how it works. It hit the top of this falling uh, falling wedge, the top arm. Okay, perfect. How it happens, right? Running tail reversal tail also known as a naked uh, uh, spinning top or naked bar and then bang down so now it's starting to move up again so somebody's predicting I mean the, the money's you know the way it's showing if you look at it purely from a mechanical standpoint that we are going to basically move up this is this this falling wedge right here this smaller one is going to move up and hit around 1250 if not it's going to go to 1350 50 Feb retracement on the VIX is 14 around 14 so do not be surprised if we hit 14 overshoot and get to 15 and that would be the two to 300 point drop in the down end of story so let me take a look at uh, while I'm at it uh, what can I take a look at I can take a look at the uh, spy and this is a different uh, thing um, so on the spy look what's going on the spy has totally overshot you know talk about a rebound you know I don't know where the gurus are when 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 these things um, happen they're never around tell you to buy right um, so so at this point I can I can say that the spy will uh, we have it we have a small reversal bar here so we could very well come down and test 199 uh, and the best case scenario would be we come down and test um, this, uh, 34 which is going to happen around 197 198 one of our members in the chat room showed that some big uh, player had bought a significant amount of uh, uh, puts on the QQQ uh, and the SPY and uh, again um, they know very well that we need to reset before we move higher uh, or if, or not move higher you know we could very well this could very well be the top and then we uh, you know we come down and test uh, the 200 again uh, this hourly chart but you know we could come down as low as 196 there's a big gap here I just noticed um, and this gap is around 196 so oh there's another gap here so we got a few gaps to fill and gaps always get filled um, so 197.50 um, and 196 so people who want to hedge their uh, long positions or just play straight out flushes on the market uh, corrective pullbacks uh, then look at the 196s and the 197.50s I generally buy in the money puts or calls um, but hey you can uh, you can always say this gap is gonna get filled 197.50 so that's two points um, and that's roughly about what 1975 on the thing on the uh, on the SPX so it's there so you know just get ready for that the next 10 minute segment I'm gonna go over a few charts and then please study all the static charts that I'm putting out there all the stuff that I put intraday nowadays I just put it together and I put it at night so people can study it for a longer time and trust me it's a lot of money to be made in this market let's try to be less fearful uh, and play both sides of the market long and short you know let's not be dogmatic at, at, at things uh, on our trades okay thank you